How to use Firebase Authentication to build a forgot password screen in Flutter for requesting a reset of the user password. Let's start at the login widget that we have created in the last videos here on the right side. And now inside the build method below our sign in button, we want to create a gesture detector with a text forgot password. So if we click on this forgot password text, then we want to navigate to the forgot password page. And this is a new page that we want to create. So let's create a widget forgot password page. And with this, we can click on this forgot password text. Inside the build method, we want to create first of all a text form field, which is our email field. And this code is exactly the same as in the last videos, where we have also some validation included. And below this text form field, we want to create a button with the text reset password. If we click on this button, we call a method verify email and inside of it, we call the send password reset email from the Firebase auth package. And inside of it, we put then the text of our email field inside by accessing the email controller, which we have basically attached to our text form field and that I have created here at the top within our state. So all in all, if we call the send password reset email method, then to this email that we provide, an email will be sent to reset the password. We also want to give the user in our app some feedback. Therefore, we show a snack bar with the text that a password reset email was sent. Also, we make sure that we put our case inside of a try and catch. And in case some error occurs, then we want to show again a snack bar with the error message similar to what we have learned in the last videos. Also, before we send the password reset email, we want to show inside of our UI a loading indicator that is showing as long as we need to execute this method. And after it, we can again hide the loading indicator by calling the pop until method or within our error case, we call the pop method. Let's also try this example out. We put an email inside that we also have inside of the Firebase authentication server. And then I click reset password. And now it says password resent email was sent. After this, you can go to your email client and you should get this password reset email. And inside of it, you have this link on which you need to click. Then you can enter here a new password and click on save. And it says the password was changed successfully. Back on the sign in screen, you can enter this password that you have changed. And after this, you click on sign in and you see it is working. We are signed in to our home area.